All right, if you landed on this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use your Hoover Steam Vac. A lot of people bought a new Hoover Steam Vac and have no clue on how to use it. First thing you want to do is to fill this up with water. The hot water is better, especially for carpets or fabrics. And that's probably what you're going to be using it for. So put some steaming hot water from the sink. Fill this up with water, which I've already done, but I just wanted to show you guys how to get it unlocked. It's supposed to be that line right there up with water. Rug Doctor Carpet Cleaner System um, Liquid. You're going to fill that up up to about right there. Sorry for all the other background mess in the background, but this video is just about showing you guys how to work this sucker. All right. uh, detergent for vacuums and stuff. Every store sells them. So once you've locked the uh, bottom in right here, and you are going to lock this in place. Got one hand here, guys, so don't. Please don't hit me for the shaking. Two buttons here. here. This one lifts this section here down, pulls it back this way, and this one turns it on and off. Um, we're actually going to tilt it back, which is with that one. And push. It. Sorry, I got one hand again. All right, got that down. Now you have to lock your dirty water tank in. This ejects your dirty water tank. Two things both sides. Lifts that up. Locks that in place. Just showing people who don't know how to do it. Next, you are going to lock your dirty water tank. This must be locked in on center. If it's not, it will not have suction because it's not closed correctly. So make sure you have this locked in place and make sure that this is all flush right here. That means it's locked. Pull this guy back up. It'll work. So if you got this model, they've been making it forever. Put the handle back down, unlock the dirty water tank. And what you're going to do with this guy right here is flip this up and put the this thing right here. Hold on, I just gotta lock it down. You gotta push down right there. This piece actually overlaps that and locks it in place. You see that, what's going on? So now it's nice and tight. And now this piece flies up and down, up and out. I have to, you can't just flip it down, sorry. You have to pull it up and out. Got that in, lock this thing in place, centered. Now when this is flapped down, that means the hose can be used. If this piece right here is flapped up, sorry, I have it locked up. If this piece is like that, now it's got suction here, so now you can't use the tool. So again, flip out, put this in, put the dirty water tank on. Alright, locked in place, Suck, good suction, good lock. Now the handle can be used. It's hooked up, and we got the scrubber handle on. We're going to turn it on. Push this button right here to spray water. I'll tell you guys this, because I'm making a video on how to use this thing. And I actually got stumped for about 10 seconds because my brush wasn't spinning, it wasn't sucking, it was spraying, but I wasn't having any suctions because my dirty water tank was not snapped in place correctly. So make sure that's snapped in correctly. Could be a big issue for people why their steam vac is not getting steam vac um, brush is spinning, um, but it's not sucking and it will spray. Um, it's just that issue. You're not getting suction because one of these is not locked into place correctly. Pushed in all the way, locked over. Also make sure that this is pushed up all the way. If it's not and it's got a little like that gap in it, it will not get suction correctly. So if you're not getting suction, this could be a quick fix. Push this up. Make sure that this is locked in place and flush that your rubber gasket's on. Right, let's get turning. Now we got this working. We are ready to scrub and suck. All right, so that's how you use the head on this thing. Um, I'm actually not using the main part of the vacuum, but I am going to show people how to use it just so they know how it works. We are going to release this level where it says uh, handle, and we're going to let it down. All right, got that piece down right here. We are going to remove the, fill, the top part of the dirty water tank, pull this up, lock this up, and pull out. Up and out. Let me get this with one hand. I can show you guys. Uh, yep, got it. Okay, this piece must go up and down in place and be flush flat. Next, you are going to put back on the dirty water tank the correct way. 
All right. Two pieces locked in first. These sections here and push down. Oh, nope. See, I didn't get it. Make sure you guys got that on correctly. Oh, that's a nice tight fit right there. You know it's ready to go. Now your uh, Steve Hoom vac, Hoover vac, whatever you want to call it, is ready for vacuuming um, with this unit right here. That's it. So that's how to use your Hoover Steve vac. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up.